The Swedish Judicial Court announced that Hamid Nouri, the former assistant prosecutor of Gohardash prison, accused in mass executions in the summer of 1988 in Iran, has been sentenced to life imprisonment, 25 years in prison. During the trial of Hamid Nouri, the Swedish court recognized the Mujahideen army MEK, during the Iraq-Iran war as a part of the Iraq forces and recognized the Mujahideen's operations including Operation Furugh Javidan as part of the Iraqi military's operations against Iran. Anti-riot police prevented the families of Metropole victims from gathering at the graves of their loved ones in Abadan. While families of victims of Abadan Metropole planned to gather at the graves of their loved ones, the police blocked their way. On 11th of July 2022, the security forces arrested Sakina Ahmadi the mother of Ibrahim Ketabdar, who was killed in Iran protests 2019. Nahid Shirpiche, the mother of Puya Bakhtiari, who was killed in Iran protests in 2019, got arrested. On 11th of July 2022, the security forces stormed the house of Nahid Shirpiche and arrested her. Following the brutal arrests of plaintiffs' families, mothers of Pejban Qalipur and Navid Behboudi, two martyrs of Iran protests in 2019, got also arrested on 11th of July 2022. Minutes after this video, on 11th of July 2022, Mehrdad Bakhtiari, the uncle of Puya Bakhtiari, one of the victims of Iran protests in 2019 and the brother of Manucheh Bakhtiari, who is a political prisoner, was also arrested. Saeed Damwar, the brother of Vahid Damwar, who was killed in Iran protests in 2019, got arrested. On 11th of July 2022, the security forces stormed the house of Damwar family and arrested Saeed while they beat up his mother too. On Friday, July 8th, the hanged bodies of five members of a family in Najafabad was discovered. The bodies belonged to family's mother, son, two young daughters and a teenage girl who was the granddaughter of the family. A few days after their death, the smell of the decomposition of the corpses had drawn the neighbors to the place of suicide. The father of the family passed away years ago and the mother was a 60-year-old retired teacher. Abu Fazl Abu Turabi, the representative of Najafabad in the Majlis of Islamic Republic, has claimed that some handwritings were found at the place of disaster in the initial investigations which match the handwriting of two of the victims and they show that they committed suicide with their own will and consent. By removal of the preferential exchange rate, the price of medicine in Iran has increased dramatically. Some medicine's prices even have increased by 530%. On 12th of July 2022, telecommunication company retirees held a rally in Charmahal and Bakhtiari, Shiraz, Tabriz, Ghazwin, Tehran and other cities of Iran protesting against the poor living conditions and demanding an increase in their salaries. <laughs> Protests of retirees and pensioners of social security organization in Ardabil, Ahwaz, Kermanshah, Shush and other cities of Iran against their poor living conditions on 13th of July 2022.